जायला इथेच तर जाऊन यायचंय त्याच्यावर बरंच केलंय मुली जास्त पण आता बनाना बिनाना काही नाही डायरेक्टरीस July 13th I'm 35 now and this is my my first triathlon been training for almost close to 2 years about 197 days as per the counter that I put on Instagram so this is what you get you get some socks you get a you get a you get a mountain man triathlon cup and you get this t-shirt I paid I think about 75 ish for this race and you also get this so I don't know what this has Let's see oh this has the the number and then you get a swimming cap then I'm supposed to be here tomorrow morning the race starts at 7:30 I'm not feeling my best because I am I am a little sick I was trying to go for the sprint but i'm going to go for the super sprint which is a smaller race because i don't think i'm really prepared so i'm here with himant uncle who also uh is into triathlons he and his son have come here so i'm here with them let's see i just hope it goes well I'm going to the airbnb right now spend some time there relax absolutely do nothing try and recover i just hope i feel better by tomorrow morning people are running really fast here but it's so good to see people here who are really really fit like everybody is very fit there is not one person who has or who is unhealthy who is fat i just met somebody who said he had cancer and he is recovering from it but he is already participating in this one tomorrow so it's really nice to see uh, people focused on one goal of being healthy uh, and competing rather prefer this than going with somebody who is going to play cards on the weekend uh, but yeah my goal tomorrow is going to be just to see if i can go as fast as possible because this is a smaller race it's only 100 meters of swimming uh, which is something i can easily do uh, but the thing is i haven't done open water before so i don't know how that's going to be for me it's sort of going to be scary but i did get a suit a, uh, like a wetsuit so that probably help I've never tried with a wetsuit also I've never done open water before but since this is a smaller race it'll give me a better idea of how it's go like transition between the swim the bicycle and the run uh, and this is more going to be like a practice race but my goal tomorrow is going to be to go as fast as possible this this race was a surprise for me to be honest I didn't really know that I was going to participate in this one until 3 days back because I thought the mountain man happens in August which it does but that's the uh the longer distance uh the olympic one uh the one that's happening today is is not that there's a sprint there's a super sprint and there is uh i think the i'm not sure what the third one is but for me it's going to be pretty easy because it's only going to be a 1 mile run a 100 meter swim and i think 10 miles of bicycle yeah that's about it so it should be pretty straight forward i'm going to see if i can go as fast as possible and see if i can win this I'm pretty sure there are going to be pros out here who are way faster than me. Uh but let's see. I just hope I recover so I can give it my best tomorrow and have enough strength to go and drive back. Let's see. I'll put an update tomorrow. Uh for now, I think today is going to be just a very relaxing day. So yeah, this is the Airbnb where I'll be I'll be spending the night and I think I'm going to go for uh, dinner at 6 pm just too early but okay yeah that's what i have to do with somebody who i don't know uh this doesn't look nice yeah it has all sorts of marks i think it is from this it in the cycle i just hope i can clean it yeah i had just cleaned the bike earlier this morning but okay it is what it is anyway i think hemant ankar and his son kriyan they're going to come in couple more minutes it's 4:30 right now so i have about 
an hour and a half. Probably gonna go in, sleep. I don't know if I can keep my bicycle outside. I don't want to. Let's see if I can just take everything inside and just crash right now. So it's 9.20 p.m. right now. I'm just trying to wear everything I'm going to wear tomorrow. I just got to know that there is no transition area like there was in or during Iron Man. Uh, you just have to wear everything and in the reverse sequence. So you wear your shorts, your running shorts, and then on top of that you wear your cycling bibs, which is what I'm wearing right now. And then you wear your uh, wet suit. So since I've never done this before, also this is going to be my first time wearing my wet suit and swimming, so that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see how it feels like. We went out for dinner with a few folks and everybody told me that there was something called, there was a briefing first of all, which I did not attend and I was told by others that during the briefing they had asked everybody to not rush in the beginning because then you're going to run out of breath. So they were like, don't, don't do that. Uh, ah, this is a little claustrophobic. But yeah, I'm just trying to go over the transition uh, and see what to wear when. Yeah, I'm just going to go over it a couple times because I don't want to get confused tomorrow and forget something that I shouldn't. Yeah, super excited for tomorrow. I just hope it's not too cold. <sighs> yeah, that's the part I'm worried about. One is I've never done open water. Two, I've never swim using a wetsuit. Uh, and three, I know how cold affects everything. Your heart rate, your breathing, uh, your speed, it just everything has gone through a toss. And I've noticed that when uh, I did the Rock and Roll Marathon, I think last year or earlier this year sometime. Yeah, it was very cold uh, and I wanted my 10-15 seconds of glory. So I went as fast as I could initially. My heart rate has gone to somewhere around 212, uh, which was a little too risky. Uh, I didn't realize that when I was running and it was about 180 throughout the race, uh, mostly because of the cold and I was very, very cold throughout the race. So I know I'm not really somebody who really likes cold. Yeah, I just hope that goes fine for me tomorrow. Everything else is probably something I can manage. I did get a buoy and they allow a buoy for the mountain man. Uh, they're not very strict about things. You can use a buoy, but I think it's only a hundred meters which is something I think I can manage. The swim should be done in about four minutes. So, a little nervous, but more excited. <laughs> That's how pretty it is. It's 5.19. <sighs> and I've barely slept. I've... Throughout the night, I think I was just thinking about this and every couple of hours, I've woken up and <sighs> check what time it was. I didn't want to be late. I don't know if I'm nervous, maybe. Like I said, it's just the swimming portion that I'm worried about. But I think if I nail the swim part, I should be fine. Also, health-wise, I feel a little better. <laughs> I had some cold earlier since the last two days, but I think I feel a little better now. <sighs> but the average temperature here in Flagstaff is much lower than what it is in Phoenix. Like last night it was about 21 degrees Celsius and it was about to go to 14 degrees Celsius in the morning. So I bet it's going to be cold. <laughs> show you how pretty it is outside of this like it was nice and now it just just see how it became <sighs> wow that's flag stuff for you there are supposed to be thunderstorms today 
That's what the weather report says. Uh, it looks looks pretty okay for now. Hopefully it stays the same. Yeah, I think both of them are ready to. Ah, let's go. Yeah, that's where I kept my bicycle last night. Taking the tire pressure seems fine. And I think the sun has just risen. Just look at how much it's changed since I woke up. It's only been like half an hour. Okay. Yeah, I think I've taken everything. Even when I come up these stairs, my heart rate is at like say 93. The elevation is real. worrying about my bicycle that's behind there because uh, the the bike is pretty expensive and I don't want it to fall <laughs> yeah and I already dreamt of this last night uh, not last night but the previous night that uh, I came for the race and I forgot my bicycle and then I was going around and asking people if somebody could lend me their bicycle and they said it was against the rules and you're only supposed to have your own bicycle. Uh, today is Sunday when the race is. Uh, it was Friday night when I had the stream just before leaving for Flagstaff. And uh, I think I had already gone, rather I've, to be honest, I've gone through this. I watched a couple videos of the mountain man before uh, I slept on Friday. And I think that sort of affected my mind and I uh, went through this a couple of times. Uh, like I, I swam in the lake already. Uh, I've I've been around that same atmosphere of there being a lot of athletes around and everybody starting together. Uh, yeah, so I have sort of lived that moment already <laughs> before actually living it. Uh, I think I should be fine once I start, but since it's the very first time, uh, I'm a little nervous. I just hope I don't forget or mess up during the transition. Let's see. I think once I'm out of the swim, I should be pretty confident. It said it was going to be thunderstorms and some rain this morning, or rather today. Uh, but doesn't look like it's pretty, pretty nice. It's actually very, very pretty right now. Yeah, I'm pretty excited though. Pretty excited. This is. I've been training for this for quite some time. Uh, not as seriously as what I would like to. Uh, I think I've trained enough to at least get done with this. Uh, small race. It's not a very big race. It's a very small one. But it's my first time doing or swimming in open water. So, if I can get through this, I can at least get over my fear of... I mean, there's no fear of water or no, no fear of open water. But I think if I can uh, get my open water done once, uh, doing it next time will be easier. I again plan to go uh, do open waters a couple times. I should have not left this for... Uh, race day and I should have done it before even the wetsuit I got it at the last minute but I think, I think that's fine Woo! <laughs> there is that lake where I'm basically going to be swimming yeah the water is muddy so I'm not really a fan of that I thought the water is going to be nice and clear but that's not really the case are you parking here? Alright, I guess that's where we stop. What are you saying? Pull off the road completely, otherwise you'll get a ticket. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll go down there. I think I should be fine. Oh, you can park that side. So, I mean, anything. But if you can, that's alright. I think I should be good.
it's Quick there. Quick question. I took my bicycle there, do I, am I supposed to keep all my other stuff there? So yes. during the transition, I come to it and take that and then move on? No, just leave it there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So when I finish the swim, I come back here. Uh, get your bike. Road, yeah, get my bike, get go around and come back here again, right? For yeah. the run part? Uh, uh, let's see. Yes. Okay, so all the, the running shoes and the biking accessories, everything goes in one system. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, cool. Yep. So as I was saying, uh, so that's, that's the lake where I go inside. Another quick question. For the super sprint, can you tell me where I go and swim? Green buoy. And that? Yep. <laughs> can you do that? <laughs> Wait, no, that, that, that can't be true. It is. From where do I start? You're going to be starting on the left side of the dock. You're going to go counterclockwise around it. That's 100 meters? Super sprinters. So I start from here, when, when it says start, I go around that green buoy and then come back to the start again. I should have signed up for the Olympic, I guess. That's less They'll than explain it to you. It's, not, it's a little bit farther than it looks, because you're going to start over there. Is it deep enough, or can I just continue walking then come back? I think, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been in there, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, right, I was most worried about this part, but if it's just that much, it's not gonna be a problem. I <laughs> okay, <you>. all right. <laughs> cool, thank that you. Uh, where can I find the route for the, the run part and the bicycle part? I just want to make sure I don't go on the wrong route and turn around to the right. Yeah. Um. Which one? You're doing the super, super sprint. sprint. Yeah. So you're gonna go that way. Okay. When you come out. Okay. And there'll be somebody there to show you where to turn around. Okay, gotcha. And then you're gonna run this way. Okay. Okay, gotcha. And then I come back here again. Yeah, because no. you have to drop off your bike. Right, and what about the bicycle part? Do I also bicycle that way? Or do I go? No, you're gonna bicycle that way. Okay, but run that way. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. I just hope I don't get confused. And this swim part is gonna be pretty easy. Chile, just the sound yet. Catch on but it's gonna be that. But it's it's Nice, it's it's very pretty. Did you forget something? Yeah, my phone. Okay. I think I left it outside my truck. Okay, so I don't really know his name, but I met him yesterday during dinner. Him and Uncle introduced me to a bunch of his friends oh, who he has trained with and everybody's I think most of them are from Phoenix. So, I just realized that I left my food at the Airbnb, so, and I am feeling a little hungry right now, I wanted to at least have a banana. Ah, banana bina na kai nahi. Directories. I just want to at least get some water or something out there. Okay, so, I'll just take all my stuff. I think I'm back at Sagula Ahe. Yeah, I've got everything else in this bag. Maybe a gel. Are your shoes born with? Super 
and I think the race starts in 20 more minutes, 20, what, 30 more minutes. Hello, how's it going? All the best. Exactly, you too, <laughs> have a good race. Yeah, you too. Yeah, these are also one of the, the few people who I met yesterday. Yeah, these are all the Eamon Tanko's friends. Let's actually go and see how cold the water is. Don't think it could be very cold. Are you? and I think the altitude made things a little more difficult. Um, I couldn't run as fast as I usually would. I think one it was the elevation and other I think the second thing is probably uh, the fact that I was tired. Uh, I don't think I wasted a lot of time during transition. I was, I was pretty quick to cut my wetsuit out. Just what it looks like. Had my wetsuit there, threw it out. Uh, wore my shoes quickly. I had my some of my shoelaces came out, so I wasted a few seconds there and tied those again. Uh, but yeah, I think I did as best as I could. It was good to finish the, the first first ever try. Though it was a super sprint, it is something. Yeah, I think I, I, I will be doing more of this. It was fun. <laughs> Woohoo!
Yeah, I did not expect winning and coming third place. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, very happy, very, very, very happy. I <laughs> got third place. It was fun. So, it looks like all that training for the last, say, one and a half years wasn't completely a waste. Woohoo! <laughs> Participating is one thing, but uh, winning is another. I'm just so happy. Wasn't expected to win anything today. I had just come here to participate. Even signed up for the race at the last minute, like three days back. I mean, I wouldn't say this is like a huge race to win, but nevertheless, this was my first triathlon without any official training. And to, and to get this, yeah. I'm gonna keep it on my desk. Yeah, I'm happy. Very happy. Woohoo! GoPro battery is about to die. Don't think I can make any more videos, but it was good to be honest. Uh, made a couple new friends, got a few new contacts. Uh, most of the people who I met here were from Phoenix. So, I'll probably get new people to train with. Uh, to be honest, at say 35 there are not a lot of good friends when i say good friends what i mean is everybody wants something from you and when they don't they see that they don't get anything out of you they don't want to be friends or there are friends who are decent but want to play or just waste time on a weekend not do anything productive so when you get to meet such people who are say into training uh, they're running, they're biking, they're doing something, uh, getting better every day. It's nice to meet such people. And at 35, to be honest, it's it's a little difficult to make new friends, uh, especially with the ones who you get along with. Uh, and uh, to be honest, I don't get along with a lot of people. <laughs> so it's not them, to some extent it's me. But I think such events are fun. Uh, you get to meet nice people. And especially when you win, Nothing like it. You got this, you got this, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dumb lie. Dumb lie, dumb lie. <laughs> 